Hey guys, Dave here. Hey, we're going to take a look at a fuel cell generator that's going to show us how we can basically turn water into a hydrogen fuel. Uh, with my example today, you'll figure out a couple new tricks or tips that you can use to increase your hydrogen, uh, ways of uh, separating it, and uh, let's get to it. At this point, you just start seeing the bubbles form on the plate with the black, you can see there. And next we'll plug in, uh, we'll put them very close together using some rubber bands and uh, see how much more we can get to produce in the same amount of time. It's just got plugged in. And you can just see already it's producing quite a few bubbles. Just kicked on, you can see the bubbles starting to rise. Uh, down here. So a decent amount of bubbles going there. I'm going to try adding some salt. This may may not work very well. Some homemade, you know, just regular salt. And yeah, you can see that definitely has a reaction to it. Uh, I had to seal this on here with some of this uh, red seal it's a basically PVC pipe that's it, it, the seal needs to be so tight because uh, hydrogen is such a small uh, atom or particle that it will uh, slide right through the cracks this device here is very important this allows airflow in one direction if I didn't have this here and I turn this off it could cause the flame to go all the way back through here into this and literally cause this to blow off the uh, top of it right there. So that's it, guys. That's the uh, burning flame um, running off of uh, basically water and uh, and electricity. Now you can see that boiling up. You can tell right there. That's a hot flame. You're holding a lighter up to this, is, and that flame is so small. Holding a lighter up to this is not going to produce this that hot. So it's extremely hot at the end. So this is why you want to use uh, stainless steel at the materials I did have. You can see where it started corroding on the, the actual wire itself. That is not stainless. However, the rest of it is. And I don't have usually too much trouble out of the zip ties. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to give a thumbs up if you guys want to see more stuff like this. I got plenty more tips and tricks. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more to come. Thanks.